Hello, today we will talk about Noble Audio Falcon Pro. When Noble released the first version of Falcon a few years ago, uh, words audiophilic and true wireless were like absolutely non-connectable, it sounds like a kind of oxymoron, but uh, since then situation changed and uh, uh, Noble played vital role there proving that uh, true wireless model can sound good. Not perfect, of course, but uh, pretty good. So, first Falcon offered natural, detailed sound, and uh, they had some issues, mainly firmware-based, uh, but they were working okay. They were uh, on the expensive side, 130 150 dollars, it was expensive uh, for non-Apple true wireless model. But uh, since then a uh, lot of time passed and Noble uh, released updated version Falcon 2 that I already reviewed. And the uh, market also notice, uh, changed in a noticeable way and uh, many companies offered their solutions in the true wireless uh, world, including Sennheiser and uh, Sony, many others. So, and uh, now $300 considered as an okay price for the true wireless earphones if they sound good. So Noble decided that now they can release their uh, ultimate vision of true wireless sound and they released Falcon Pro. It's now a hybrid model utilizing 6mm titanium coated dynamic driver and the dual Knowles balanced armature. It packed with features, I will cover that during this review, but uh, price is $330 if I remember right, it's a step uh, uh, forward uh, more than two times higher than regular Falcon 2. And uh, let's have basically a closer look and see what this uh, true wireless model offers. Package is pretty close to the other nobles. On the package we can see that here used Bluetooth 5.2 and Qualcomm aptX adaptive. So basically the most advanced technologies in the true wireless world that uh, exists for now. I'm waiting for the new LC3 codec may, uh, make its way to the headphones world, but currently it's the maximum we can get. And a lot of information here. So Qualcomm CVC noise cancelling technology, I will add test of microphone, fast charging, voice assistant, easy button control, volume up, down, so they have really advanced uh, features and they have auto on off pairing and moreover they have automatic change of active earbud if it's necessary depending on the battery low latency playback uh, they have uh, set configuration of drivers qualcomm true wireless mirroring technology so if you have uh, advanced uh, new uh, smartphones with new versions of uh, chipset uh, you can uh, benefit of that uh, 500 milliampere hour mini charging case with wireless charging and they offer pretty good work time up to 5 hours of music listening at maximum volume and up to about 9 hours if you reduce uh, to, seven, to 70% smart built-in sensor they have uh, IPX5 uh, uh, protection so you can uh, uh, use them during some workouts. Actually Falcon 2, if I remember right, uh, has IPX7, so if you need uh, to dive with your earbuds, so um, uh, Falcon 2 could be better uh, option. But of course uh, diving with true wireless earphones is anyway a bad idea, Bluetooth uh, doesn't work underwater. And uh, aptX adaptive used here, it's a pretty good codec that allows better connection quality, but when connection quality is good, it offers uh, higher bandwidth, so sometimes it can be, in theory, it can be compa uh, compared with aptX HD when connection quality is nice. So, in terms of uh, features, uh, it's uh, really good uh, here through good ear tips yeah, ipx5 so in terms of features definitely model worth the flagship status inside of the box you will get uh, the quick start guide if you need ear pieces were located here but of course now i store them in case and here we will get the set of accessories i'm not sure is it is there any sense to 
take this box out, but let's keep that in appropriate way. So basically you can see what is in the accessory set, uh, but let's check that person responsible for package did their job. So yes, USB-C cable, pouch, I don't know why it's here, but they've added for storage, so you won't scratch that nice case. And uh, tips that uh, Noble is proud of. So they have reduced height and wide horns. Probably they play their role in the sound of these true wireless earphones. And in terms of case design, it's really close to the regular Falcon 2. Almost the same size, uh, almost the same information, but of course uh, Pro version is labeled. So, But uh, inside there are slight differences. Here we have the reset button and uh, we have a bit different uh, shape of ear pieces. So regular Falcon 2 closer, is close to the original Falcon and for the Pro version they've created a bit uh, different design that looks a bit more sleek. So let's pull them out. Here it is. So charging contacts uh, for LED showing the remaining uh, charge in case. USB for charging and wireless charging is present here. I didn't test wireless charging but if it's stated prob most probably it should work. So here it is its right earpiece. As you can see it's uh, pretty big so they need to uh, fit inside battery, all the electronics and uh, uh, three drivers, so size is pretty big, but at the same time it uh, fits into ears nicely and uh, looks uh, pretty flush. Here are LED indicators uh, and sensor controls, they respond to touch uh, pretty well, so controlling them is pretty... Uh, uh, well implemented. Design looks stylish. You can see that combination of colors corresponds on the case and on the faceplates. It's a good uh, sign. They don't have active noise cancelling, but because of the shape of the shell and because of the extended spout, they have a pretty good passive noise uh, cancelling, uh, passive uh, noise isolation. And actually they require some time to be inserted and pulled out, so uh, to simplify the task for you, Noble implemented uh, here through function. So you can uh, tap and uh, hear what's going on outside. And because uh, passive sound isolation here is pretty good and uh, it's really unlikely that you will hear what's going on outside. Maybe it's not uh, super isolating for subway or for the plane, you will need something with active noise cancelling, but, but in regular usage on the street or in the public transport, uh, they will do their job with passive isolation pretty nicely. And actually interesting, uh, I really wonder where did they put the microphone, because there is no uh, visible holes, maybe it's hidden somewhere. So there is a lip for holding the tips and there is a protective grill, so spouts are done nicely. Wearing comfort is good. They are pretty reliable in terms of uh, connection quality. The only issue is when you in some area with a lot of Wi-Fi networks, in that case interference can cause slight uh, shattering, but uh, actually, you know, probably microphones are located here in the bottom side. So nice design idea. So only when there are a lot, there is a lot of uh, interference outside, they can experience some connection issues. But besides that, they hold connection uh, really well, at least in my tests. Uh, uh, they have a slight background noise, but it's uh, really slight. Uh, maybe because of balanced armature used here, and it uh, don't spoil the listening experience. Microphone test I will add, and uh, delay of sound is close to minimum. You can spot it with special tests, but uh, in regular conditions it didn't bother me. They have a good uh, amount of volume, so 
bypassing my comfortable limit uh, without problems. So in every single aspect I can see, say that it's a really well done true wireless model that can be compared with other flagships easily. Here is a traditional microphone test. I'm wearing Noble Falcon Pro the way they intended to be wearing and recording this part of the video using their built-in microphones. I won't apply any gain correction or compensation here, so it should give you an idea of how they sound. Here is their companion app. I showed it in previous review of Falcon 2, but not everyone watch every single review, so let's make this review full and I will show this application once again. If you seen it, you can just skip using the timestamps in the description. So, application is simple but looks neat, so it shows uh, active uh, audio codec which earbud uh, is active and use microphone shows remaining charge in both earpieces and even shows their photo. So in settings we can uh, change the language and see the firmware version, we can change the configuration what done on triple click on the left earbud and for the right earbud we can configure double and triple clicks so you can even set volume change here you can uh, set a simple equalizer you, we need to start the playback for that uh, and uh, in this case we can adjust the equalizer but let me pause it and so let's go back, uh, we can try firmware upgrade uh, if we need and we can turn on and off this uh, here through function. If you want uh, you can toggle it here, but of course uh, most probably you will toggle it using the sensor controls. So application is basic, but it does its job uh, pretty nicely. And of course about the sound, let's have a player on the table to provide an examples. It will be Hybe R8, but of course there is no necessity in using high-end player as a source for true wireless models. Smartphone will do this job uh, pretty well too, but uh, my smartphone is busy recording this video right now, so I am using player. So poor me or first world problems, okay. So, jokes aside, uh, you know, surprisingly, for the pro version, Noble decided to make a more fun and engaging sound. It goes a bit against the traditional type of approach. Usually we use that pro means more natural, more focused uh, on the neutrality and so on. But Noble decided that for the Falcon Pro they will create more engaging sound and actually, you know, it's probably fitting their house sound. Anyway, these uh, uh, earphones are tuned by John Moulton and uh, that's what we can probably expect uh, from the creator of S Sultan, uh, Han and uh, uh, Kaiser and Core, all that models that we know and many people love. Anyway, uh, here used 6mm dynamic driver, but at the same time it can deliver good amount of punch, good impact and a nice amount of uh, tight impact. And at the same time bass is slightly accented, but in my opinion it's just a normal accent of low frequencies, not too much. Because in some reviews I see mentions that bass here is uh, big, but actually in, uh, at my scale it's not big and I'm not a fan of uh, bass head tuning, so um, and, and still uh, taking that into account, still amount of bass is normal for me. Uh, but at the same time uh, the bass here has a really good depth, actually a bit ex exceeding um, aptx uh, limits or exceeding other true wireless models that I've tested. Uh, so I'm not sure, maybe it's because of some uh, digital signal processing or they just managed to tune the dynamic driver this way. But depth is slightly better than uh, almost all other models uh, can uh, 
show and at the same time uh, deeper layers of base also tight impactful and probably that gives that uh, sense of uh, big base but at the same time it's not big in terms of quantity it's just tight uh, and uh, impactful but of course it's still accented so it's not the base linear model but uh, luckily also this dynamic driver uh, has a nice resolution offering a good amount of overtones and details of course uh, that all for the true wireless models okay let's uh, assume that i won't repeat for the true wireless model for on and on so all that i'm uh, speaking here it's just uh, with that addition because it's uh, still unfortunately not uh, on pair with wired mod models but still uh, pretty good for the true wireless so anyway good amount of uh, small details and resolution so natural instruments and sounds also pretty pleasant and as a first example of uh, low frequencies it's uh, the antwort cookie thumper so nice big fat bass line uh, building the foundation for the track and nice contrast with your line the vocals to uh, to give you the biggest uh, listening pleasure for this track uh, and this model does that and uh, i used this track uh, not so far ago but i want to reuse it once again whole lot of love by led zeppelin and i must admit that uh, john paul jones work is underestimated uh, and bass in the introduction here is nice and it plays vital role in this track and uh, that sounds uh, pleasant and this model also renders this uh, low frequencies nicely mids are slightly recessed comparing with bass and accented treble but thanks to the good resolution they don't sound veiled they don't sound shadowed uh, they, it's not the best tuning for the lovers of uh, vocal and forward mids but at the same time true wireless models in general is not the best choice for such uh, circumstances and actually if you don't like uh, this uh, v shapeness in tuning you can alter that with equalizer equalizer here works uh, pretty nicely so you can uh, move uh, mids forward or reduce treble and bass here if you'd like so they have uh, all, uh, basically maximum possible resolution for the aptx codec uh, and thanks to the aptx adaptive they even sometimes offer better results than traditional aptx and that means uh, good uh, resolution but still of course not focused on the micro contrast uh, with proper weight distribution uh, but also not highlighting macro dynamics and not highlighting emotions so actually it is a true wireless model that requires a properly recorded stuff at the same time imaginary stage is above average not uh, hugely above but uh, not slightly above so they are uh, vit vitally above or i don't know so somewhere in between slightly and hugely above average in terms of staging and that's probably because of balanced armatures used here and proper tuning so they will give nice uh, pleasant sense of 3d presence and uh, first example it's metallica's master of puppets uh, so not audiophilic track uh, but uh, good test for the headphones uh, because uh, the it requires pretty technical headphones but at the same time not analytical otherwise it will sound awful and this um, earphones pass this test with uh, pretty good uh, marks uh, uh, delivering nice amount of resolution but at the same time good emotions and more audiophiliac track it's nehinj relax dub actually this uh, is a single track that can be used to test everything because it has nice bass line, it has a lot of instruments that fits into the mid frequencies and it has good extended treble but mids here uh, need to, mids for this track need to be technical too and this model delivers that nicely of course full potential required wired connection but anyway and about the treble a bit uh, in a few word in a few moments so treble is slightly accented not too much for me but if you're sensitive to the treble keep that in mind also i don't know how but noble managed to achieve slightly better extension of treble compared with the uh, vast majority of other true wireless models and um, 
not by a huge margin, but still slightly better. And uh, the resolution is typical balanced armature, but at the same time also not focused on the micro contrast, with slight uh, faster attacks and decays than they should be for natural sound. But at the same time, uh, sounding treble here sounds clean and crisp. Uh, overtone saturation is normal, but of course layering is absolutely basic or even below basic, but that's what we can expect here. But still nice uh, treble to render instruments, just don't expect some audiophilic rich treble layering or something like that. And first example, it's Dire Straits, brother, Brothers in Arms, you understand why this track is here, nice percussion, good guitars, good record quality, lot of stuff goes high to the treble area, and this model sounds pretty pleasant. And second example, Rush, Roll the Bones. It was early 90s, Rush experimented with pop music or I don't, I don't know, soft rock or something like that, but still it's a rush with great uh, percussions and uh, good uh, par part of cymbals and other stuff, and this model play it ni it plays it nicely too. So, speaking about the comparisons, uh, comparing with uh, Falcon and Falcon 2, this model offers uh, better development of both ends, tighter and deeper bass, uh, more detailed and extended treble and actually a bit more detailed mids. Uh, comparing with uh, Sennheiser Momentum True Wireless 2, Momentum tries to be more uh, forward, more emotional, more highlighting emotions, uh, and uh, it, it's uh, a bit less resolving, but at the same time a bit more boosting macro dynamics. So if you'd like forwardness and emotions, uh, Momentum could be your option. This model is a bit more resolving and a bit more technical, but still being fun. Uh, Diviale Gemini uh, is another absolutely type of tuning. Uh, Gemini is another model in the similar price range, but at the same time Gemini sounds uh, more natural and more highlighting that naturalness. But also it suits better with uh, to the for the electronic music or oh, sorry for jazz for classical music and so on. While this one is has more bass, more impact, and overall sounding more fun. At the same time, this has a bit, uh, actually not a bit, it has noticeably higher volume limit, so it can be much louder. But uh, Gemini offers active noise cancelling. And uh, Sony, I'm always forgetting their index, WF-1000XM3 or something like that, uh, actually Sony True Wireless model, they definitely require uh, an update uh, because they are still great, uh, but uh, nowadays models surpass them a, a little bit, but still uh, notice noticeable. This model has a bit deeper base, bit more uh, develop, uh, develop treble and more resolution on the mids in the, in the treble area. So, to summarize everything, Noble created fun, engaging model with uh, technical sound, but at the same time not dull and sound uh, overall fitting the company's tuning, it definitely reminds their uh, more high-end models, at least uh, those that I've tested. And uh, I'm sure that many people will like that, especially if you like not uh, natural signature and you want to achieve that in the true wireless world. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention, and of course, uh, have a nice day.